Hello everyone, Barb here, and today we have card number four in what accidentally turned into a four card series of videos. Um, these are the first four, three of the cards. We made this one. Then from there we went to here, and the last video was this one. So now I just had a few little scrap pieces left over of that patterned paper. I have a couple of other little bits in this little bowl. I went digging and I pulled out this, it's dotted, it's an embossing folder. It's dotted on the bottom with this little line and then this part is unembossed. And that is how I ended up with this piece right here. So you can see, you can see the dots. And then up here it's clear. This white piece is three and three quarter by five. Then I have a piece of black, which is four by five and a quarter, and then a card base, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. I also am still sticking with my little hello that is from the Honey Bunny Card Making Workshop Stamp and Thing Cut set. So I can throw this. This was um, oh from many years ago already. Um, embossing folders. I always think are a great investment. They don't take up a ton of space, and when you stick with things that are fairly generic, they never go out of style. So before we assemble, I think we will finish off this, and I thought I would pull in some Lagoon ink and maybe a little scrap piece of paper. I'm going to pounce it off a little bit. I just want a little bit of some color here. Just a teeny bit. And I'm pouncing it off because you get that kind of a gob. I'm using a, a brush. I just want to give it just a little halo of color. And I think that'll work. Then I also need to stamp my hello. I'm using VersaFine Onyx Black Ink. It's my favorite. I'm just going to go down and up. Ooh, and I like that. What do you think? It's just a little bit of color behind there. I think that's nice. Okay. And get all that out of the way. Wipe that off. Now we can start assembling. I use tape runner on the big pieces, and we're just layering up, layer, layer, layer. It's kind of the name of my game, isn't it? And here we go. Sometimes I forget to keep this scooted up here so that you can see it. I get focused on what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm going to pull out all of the little ribbon pieces. And we're just going to start layering across. And for this, I am going to use some glue. Excuse me. Um... Because I've got those little embossed dots, sometimes it's just easier to use the glue. I am pulling it down just a little bit from that embossed, it's like an embossed dash line. It's really cool. And this is just the little bit of the leftover pattern paper that I used on the other three cards. And there was just a tiny little scrap left over. It was really cool. I think I can squeeze all that underneath. And we're just we're just playing here. Doesn't matter if this is perfect because we're going to cover that up. Get that there. Ooh, it can go. We'll tuck this one underneath. 
I could flip it over, but I like this side better. <laughs> Sometimes they're just something you like a little more. There's no rhyme or reason, no right or wrong. And what I'm going to do is I am just going to take my glue and run it along the top edge. Just like that. And then this little piece is about a quarter of an inch by three and three quarter. It's just going to span across the top of that. That's just to finish that off so I don't have to stress about whether it's perfect or not. And let's see here. I think I'm going to put one heart up here, so I'll do my dots, and one here, and one here. And I've just got my wax pen. Hopefully it'll pick them up. Oh, yeah. These were left over from another project. And then I have this last one. I like having a bowl to just catch everything and hang on to it for me so I'm not losing my pieces. This one is from Pioneer Woman. I think I picked it up at Walmart. I really like it. I like the big wide, <laughs> the, the wideness of the opening so it's easy to get my hand in there. And that's it. Here we go. Card number, ooh, card number four in my accidental four card series. This is what uses up the rest of my two six by six pieces of pattern paper. I'll bring these all in. Hopefully you'll be able to see them. Just like that. Isn't that fun? Bright, cheery, summery colors. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you haven't had a chance to subscribe, I would surely appreciate it if you would. Have a blessed crafty day, and I'll see you next time.